Hey guys, it's Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to save on data usage. So, um, most of you guys are uh, have data plans, and not all of you guys have unlimited data plans. Me, myself, I only have the 2 gigabyte um, AT&T plan. <clears throat> and uh, conserving all that data can be kind of annoying if you're not on Wi-Fi. So, I am on Wi-Fi right now. Um, so... As most of you guys know, browsing the web actually takes up a lot of data because you're searching through a lot of pictures and stuff, and if you use Safari, it definitely sucks up a lot of data. One cool thing is Chrome. So Chrome usually takes up a lot of data, but uh, today, um, <clears throat> January 27, uh, uh, Google released a new version of Chrome. And you can see over here, <clears throat> Chrome 32.0.1700.20, yada, yada, yada. And there are some cool features, including the translate when you come across a page written in a language that you don't understand. Just look for the translation bar. One tap and the page is quickly translated for you. And then the uh, holy grail, reduce data usage. Reduce your data usage by up to 50%. Enable this feature and view your savings. So it'll... Reduce the amount of data used by caching, crunching, uh, reducing the number of <clears throat> the size of the pages itself. And there's also a new tab page update to make searching faster and easier. And stability fixes. So we're going to hit update on this. And we're going to go over to the settings. And then we're going to go turn on bandwidth and then reduce data. Um, I'll have to report back next month. Because obviously this month I won't know, but next month to see whether uh, it actually reduces it or not. So, um, I mean, I don't think Google's going to lie to us, but let's just make sure we go do that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go back into Chrome. And then we're going to hit over here, this little menu bar. And we're going to hit uh, settings down here. Focus. We're going to hit settings. And then we're going to go down here to bandwidth, okay? And over here you can see that it says reduce data usage is off. Preload web pages only on Wi-Fi. Um, we're going to hit over here and we're going to reduce data. It says when this feature is turned on, Chrome will use Google servers to compress pages you visit before downloading them. SSL and incognito pages will not be included. So... <clears throat> And it has safety preventions to prevent uh, malware, phishing, and harmful downloads. We're going to turn that on. <clears throat> and now you've got a way to track how much data you actually use. Okay? And how much it actually compresses. So this should save you a lot of data. Okay? And we're going to hit done. Anyway, that's how you could save some more data next time. And if you like this video, add it to your favorites, give it a thumbs up, share it to Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.